guys, Cindy out with My Arts and Endeavors. This is take two of this video, or take three, I'm not sure which. Anyways, um, what you're looking at, I'm doing another peek in my studio, and what you're looking at are three 10 drawer IKEA cabinets. Um, I, if any of you ask any of my friends, I'm a stampaholic. I love my stamps. So, I wanted to show you how I organize them. Now, if you look at the front of these, you don't see anything, correct? There's no labels, no nothing. However, what I decided to do is put those labels on this little part of the drawer here. So if you look down, they're actually all labeled, so I know what's in my stamps. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through. Um, this is my numbers and letters. I've got a bunch of numbers and letters in here, um, different you know fonts, that kind of thing. So that's where I get those. Next, we're looking at my words. Apparently, I've got some letters in here that need to go up here. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but there's all different kinds of words in here. Things like, you know, little sayings, I did it all by myself. Congratulations, wishes come true, that kind of stuff. This one is sayings. So I've got these, con I used to use these containers all the time. I bought hundreds of them. And... Some of the things I left in the containers, um, some of them I did not. If they were already in there and that's what were in the container itself, I just left them. So this drawer is for sayings. This drawer is for borders. If I decide I want to put a border on something, I just come over here and grab one of my borders that are sitting here in these containers. So that worked. those look brand new. I think I have a second set of these. I think the, why these look new. Um, because I have a second set of the dilutions. They're actually on the thing. So, um, but anyways, so here's my borders. <clears throat> this one says animals, but I know, um, I thought I said it, insects. No, it's animals. Um, this one's got all just little, little animals in it. Butterflies and hedgehogs and, um, you know, whatever. Goose. Whatever we need for animals. And there's a little bit more in the back here. That's a bird. I've got a bunch of, um, these are like bear parts and cats and stuff like that. Sorry if it's a little dark. It's kind of gloomy out today. <clears throat> then we've got uh, a thing of flowers. I know I have another drawer of flowers. These are um, ones that I've kept in these cases. This is Unity. Um, you'll find out I love Unity stamps. I used to get the membership, but as of now, I don't have it anymore. It's just gotten a little bit expensive for me. But here are my flowers, some of them. Hang on, I'm going to grab my chair so I can sit down and not kill my back. Okay, this one's insects. <laughs> and don't ask me why. I have insects in here, but I also have birds and butterflies and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have a container here that's got all kinds of dragonflies in it. Um, these are owls and cats. And these are dogs. So, whoops. Let me just fix this real quick. There we go. Uh, if not, when I open it, crap's going to fall out. <clears throat> this one is my Unity and Holtz, Tim Holtz. Um, I've also got some Paper Artsy in here. I've got some Marlene, Art by Marlene, um, Stampers Anonymous. I also have some Finnabar in here. I've got more Tim Holtz down in there. These are the Unity sets that I was talking about. The membership that I had... Um, they would send you a kit every month, and back when I had it, you see the price, it was $26, now I think it's like 40 something but I absolutely love these stamps. They are a nice, solid rubber stamp. Um, they're unmounted, of course, but I don't care, I have blocks. And I thought about it when I was re when I was um, setting up my drawers. I just thought about it. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to keep these Unity sets as is. So if I want a Unity set, I'll just come in here take a look at the front cover, see what I want, and, you know, take it out of here. So that's this one. <clears throat> These are all dilutions. Um, as you can see, ugh, I have lots, oops, sorry, you were looking at the floor. I have a lot of dilution stamps. I really like the dilution stamps. They give me a different look when I feel like I want to do something totally different. All right, second cabinet. This one has extra pads, journaling blocks, um, that kind of stuff in it. Paint pads, that's that. And then we have people. <clears throat> These are my larger people. Um, I've got a bunch of Julia Nuttingham stamps. 
um, Prima stamps, and then of course some more people here. This next drawer is also people. These are actually the wooden block people. Um, I have everything on of my wooden blocks that have a person on them in here. So again, some of this stuff you guys don't ever see me use because I do use a lot of it in my personal journals. All right, grab a chair. Then we have, I don't want it just, oh, girls. I love these stamps. I think these are really cool. This is a project I've always wanted to do and I just haven't done it yet. That doesn't belong in there, but that's okay. And it's these girls. They're art impressions and they're unmounted. And I just think these are wonderful. I absolutely love these stamps. And what my intent is, someday, is to um, make a bunch of cards with these. So I just call it my girls. I have this one. This one's really, really old. I don't know if I'll ever do anything with it, but yeah, I have a lot of these girls, and I just, I really enjoy these stamps. So one of these days, you may see a series of cards come out with those girls in them. Uh, this one is nature. Basically, leaves, trees, plants, that kind of stuff. There's a palm tree. Um, some other forest. This is all just leaves and that kind of stuff. And then, of course, my uh, rub, my block stamps are all in here too anything that has to do with nature I've got them all in here this is actually a set sorry I'm trying to look at it through both ways both what my hands doing and where the camera is this one's kind of cool I like that one not neat so like I said these are used you don't see a lot of them I should start using them more in my regular art journaling um, this one is nautical so anything that has to do with the sea is in here, um, including my um, black stamps. This one has to do with the sea. My little sand bucket here, all kinds of stuff. Um, this one's a lighthouse for a card. What else is in here? This is art by Marlene. Um, this one, I don't know who made that one. Huh. It's got nautical stuff in it though. There's a mermaid. Oh, here's my kayaking setup. So yeah, this is my nautical theme drawer, and this is what I, you know, use for that. Next is miscellaneous. Now, when I say miscellaneous, it's stuff that I wasn't sure where I wanted to put. I love this stamp. I just used this the other day. Um, I enjoy using these. These are all just like miscellaneous stamps that I've purchased. And I've used, but I don't really want to take the sets apart. I don't have any more of those plastic containers because I got rid of them. Um, so this just has miscellaneous stuff in it. Just miscellaneous blocks um, and just regular stamps. Like this one's an art set. What's going on there it is too? Nope, this one's a little monster. Yeah, so that's what's in here. I love this one. This one's absolutely beautiful. So, this is my miscellaneous drawer. One of them. <clears throat> I think I have a couple more in here. This one is also miscellaneous. This is my Gorgeous Girls. I've got all the original Gorgeous Girl stamps. I've got, here's a, uh, these are dies and stamps. This is from Tailored Expressions. Um, these are just a, different frame cuts. My dies normally don't go in here. Um, here are some stamps from, let me think of the name of them, Carabella Studio. So that's these stamps. I love the stamps and I love the detail. However, I don't like the size. I wish the size was bigger, but that's just me. Um, so those are kind of cool. Two of those. Let me see, what else is in here? Inky Antics. Again, this is kind of like a card making drawer. I've got gems in here. Um, I've got a lot of different just odds and ends in here. Here's some dream catchers. What else is there? Um, Freebird. That's like a 70s one. Here's another one. So yeah, these are all just different Jane Davenport stamps I have in here. Not a many. Some deep reds, another carabella. So yeah, this is just kind of a miscellaneous drawer. Sorry about my socks, my feet are cold today. Anyways, all right, on to the next one. We have 
backgrounds. This drawer I use a lot. Um, if I want something to go in the background on one of my pages, this is where I come to get it. I have everything from circles to... There's a little hand-carved birdie. I think Peg Robinson did this one. I love that little birdie. He's so cute. Um, yeah, and I have my miniatures in here. I love these little miniature stamps. I enjoy using those. These I bought, my husband and I were antiquing one day, and I saw all these stamps sitting around on these things, and I picked out a bunch of them to use. And then what I did is I stamped them, and I put a picture of them on the front of the block. There were so many of these. I wish I knew where I got them, because I'd love to go back and get some more, but these are really cool, too. Bricks. And... So, yeah, this is where I use... Um, this is my background stuff. This one don't go in there. So yeah, there's little backgrounds. Here's another thing of backgrounds. This one go in here. Hang on. There we go. Um, this is another thing of backgrounds. These are a lot of, of rubber um, backgrounds that I have here. A bunch of ATCs. Um, I don't know why that one is in there. I think it belongs below. But yeah, these are all just backgrounds. Circles. Dots. More circles. You know I love circles and dots. Um, just backgrounds. These are the Unity stamps, and they are so solid. I just, I love these stamps. I don't know if any of you have ever had some Unity stamps, but they are just fabulous. Here's one of a wreath. That one. Yeah, I've used that one. Um, so yeah, this is another thing of backgrounds. And I have a third drawer of backgrounds, and this is where this one belongs. Um, again, these are all just background stamps I have. Sorry, I keep moving my camera, but it's hard to look through the lens and record and do things with my hand. Um, these are all basically the silicone uh, backgrounds, plus I have some of my rubber stamp, what, my uh, block stamp backgrounds in here. I've got circles, stars, whatever. This is a some kind of hexagon shape or whatever. Um, so yeah, so there's another thing in backgrounds. Guess what? I have another. <laughs> these are backgrounds. Um, these are stamps that are mostly wooden. And these are the bigger wooden stamps. I like the size of this one. Actually, let me pull the size of this one. They're card size stamps. And I absolutely love these. And you can see um, a friend of mine was downsizing. <laughs> So, um, she was purging, actually. And I just, I love these stamps. They're so beautiful, and they make wonderful backgrounds. Um, this one here is one of my favorites. This one here. It's just, you know, I, what I do is every now and then I'll sit here, and I'll take a drawer out, and I'll do a ton of stamping, and then I use them in my art, or I use them in my personal journals. This one is beautiful as well. So, yeah, I'm a stampaholic. I love my stamps. That's one thing that will never leave my collection again. I actually had an entire collection, a huge one, and I sold it. And I'll never do that again. Um, more block stamps. This one is Stars and Hearts. So I've got a bunch of hearts in here. And here's some of my stars. So there's certain things that when I look for one, I, I just want to go and get it. And one of these is the Stars and Hearts. So, and there's a background stamp. Alright, what's the next one? This one is flowers. I love using flowers. I love stamping flowers. I have fun stamping flowers. Um, yeah. You guys may have seen some of these in my art journals because I use these quite a bit. Um, this one right here I have on tissue paper right now. Um, yeah. These are cool. This one's really cool. This one I've got on tissue paper right now. I mean, some like I said, sometimes I'll sit here and I'll take a day and just stamp. Whoops, that one's really pretty too. My little tulip. Yeah, so when I say I can't draw, I can't draw. This is what I do. I stamp. That's a set of Stampin' Up! stamps um, with flowers, which I think are really pretty. Let's see what else I have here. I have this random flower, which I think is cool couple more random flowers, more flowers, back up a little bit, in full bloom, this one's really pretty too, I've used this one quite a bit, 
So that's, you know, a drawer of flowers. And then, next are travel and houses and some odds and ends. So these I got. Now these I want to use on my jelly plate. I believe my friend Peg may have sent these to me. I'm not positive. But I want to use these on the jelly plate. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Let me put these up here. Whoops. Hold on. Now this goes back in the background. Up here. There we go. Alright, so what else is in my travel and houses? Um, anything that has to do with travel. Bicycles, planes, um, here's some houses. This doesn't belong in here. Neither do these, so I'm not sure why they're in here. Um, circles. I like this one. This one's been one of my favorites. I've used this quite a bit. Um, there's angel wings in here. Kitchen stuff. Um, mason jars. Or lamps, circles. What else is in here? We have, this is all kind of stamp stuff, which I'm gonna have to use for Potter School. This is sewing. Um, this is Raisin Boat. They went out of business a long time ago. Let me see what else. More houses. Um, this one's planes, nautical. I'm sorry, boats, nautical. A crown. This one's trains. Um, on the truck trains. What else? This one, oh, is a uh, cottage by the sea. And then TV and that kind of stuff. So just a really a weird array of things that um, I use. So there's that drawer. That is travel and houses. Now I have fall and Halloween. Um, I don't do a whole lot of seasonal stuff. But there's times I'm in the mood, so I decide to. Um, I've got some really creepy looking Halloween stuff. Um, there's a bunch of them in here. Oops, hang on. Um, but I don't use them a lot. But like I said, if I'm in the mood, they come out. So this is Halloween. Hang on. Let's see what's back in here. More Halloween. Um, Halloween. And this is more card stuff. Whoops, more card stuff. That's like a fall one. Um, this is like fairies. I'm not sure what else is in there. And then I have these ones. I want to use these here soon. Um, again, Halloween, a little bit of fall, birthday. Um, this one's a farm. I've got birthday. I've got a gentleman's clothing. This video is really hard to make. Um, fishing. And I think a bunch of hearts for a birthday. So yeah, that's what's in this drawer. Um, like I said, it's fall, Halloween, slash, you know, different holidays. But the biggest majority of it is fall and Halloween. And I, I love my stamps. I just, I absolutely do. They're so much fun to use. Um, not sure why I have a popcorn box in here or a goodie box, but I do. This I used to use all the time when we were camping. Um, I would use it in my journal and I would put um, our route on it wherever we were going. Because we lived up in the northeast and we know pretty much all of these states up through here we've been to. And I used to put roots on it and put it in my travel journal and then talk about where we were going, that kind of thing, what we saw. This one is Christmas. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't do a lot of Christmas stuff, but when I do, well, there's just Stampers Anonymous Christmas, um, I have fun with it. So, you know, I basically, a lot of these are, I don't have a lot of block Christmas I have a few, but they're basically card size. Um, like this one. This one's a beautiful, beautiful one for a card. Um, things like that. So this is the Christmas drawer. You know, I have my angel here. Different stuff like that. This is the Lala, Lala, Lala Land Crafts. Boy, I couldn't say that, could I? Don't mind my tub over there. It's a donation tub. So, yeah, this one's my Christmas drawer. So, I just wanted to give you guys an idea 
another um, how I track how I uh, what do you call it store things. Oops, they didn't go in here. I gotta figure out where these went. Backgrounds, maybe? Yeah, I think they went right here. Um, so I just want to give you an idea how I store my stamps. They're very simple to get to. Um, you know, again, all I have to do, they're all in one place for one. I'm gonna go back a little bit further. And they're just simple to get to. I love these drawers. They hold a ton of stamps. I could put hundreds more in these drawers. Um, do I want to? No, not right now, but just an idea. Go to Ikea, check out the 10 drawer uh, cabinets. If you don't like the 10 drawer cabinets or you don't like the price of Ikea, go to Michael's and see what you have for Michael's. I actually have Michael's right here, which I'm going to show you those again another day. But um, yeah, so here you go. Another peek in my studio. This time it's rubber stamps. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll chat with you soon. Bye.